Hello everyone. We will see today how we can export the virtual machine from uh, VMware. For this we will use this utility. It's a small utility available on VMware or you can download from uh, net. Keep in mind that you can export the machine from this utility only when this machine is shut down. Although there are many software available, you can export the machines when even it's power up and working. Why we need to export? We can take snapshot before applying any software or patch, but we have to export the machines time by time so in case there is something happened with our virtual server, we can restore our machine. Now let's start. I will show you our VMware, how we can export. First I will show you our virtual server. See these are our virtual machines. Three virtual machines I have. First and the last shut down. Second one is up and I am working on that. I will export uh, this last one because it's having a little bit lower uh, used GB space. For this you can go to install this utility. I have downloaded this utility from net and you can also download from uh, VMware, vSphere, there are multiple softwares available. We will now install this utility. Remember there are multiple softwares available to perform this function but maybe they will be, uh, they are paid softwares I am using free utility but for this you need to shut down your machine then you can export I am installing now this uh, small utility it's calling VMware vClient multiple versions available I am using uh, version 6 You can choose uh, any other language. It will take a bit time depends on your uh, computer performance. You can install on any system, either it's on server or your Windows uh, operating system. It's also available in 32-bit, 64-bit. Okay, the utility has been installed. I will open this. Just double click it and uh, will open now you need to take the IP of your virtual server it is 30 put your username and password you can also set username password but uh, for Windows it 
will maybe ask for some certificate Okay, it's loaded now. Just expand this tree view. You can see this uh, all these uh, three machines. Uh, if you can uh, keep your uh, video in uh, HD format, you can see that this is already green and it's showing that it's powered up. If you will go to file, it will not allow you export. You can only export system logs. so I will export this because this machine is having uh, the smallest part of uh, used space so it will take less time you can perform many functions from this client you can uh, see virtual machines you can power up you can take snapshot you can open console delete from disk remove from inventory rename there are so many functions you can perform let uh, come to the point export you can uh, tell the name backup 2017 12 and you can put two days date it is 13 mention the directory I'll put the D drive I have much space available uh, in uh, on my this computer and uh, in D drive please keep in mind it's uh, it will take many GB space you have to keep the mm, as much as possible space available here you will go this is how you will uh, what will be the format how you want it to export I'll tell you the difference of OVA and OVF OVA is a single file the OVA is the OVF folder contents all zipped into a single file the purpose of the OVA is when you want to take an OVF and share it or give it as a download the OVA needs to be opened into the OVF before it can be consumed the OVA needs to be opened into the OVF before it can be consumed the OVA format is supported by both vSphere and OVF tool both for import and export OVF is a collection of items in a single folder when you will export in OVF it will make a folder having multiple files most commonly this is a description file a manifest file and virtual machine staked files like .ovf .vhd or .vmdk OVF stands for Open Virtualization Format used for pack and distribute virtual appliances or virtual machines. OVF package contains multiple files into one directory. However, OVA stands for Open Virtualization Appliance. So it's better if you can open a single file and export in a single file. you can put any description backup on this date and click OK the process has been started you can see the progress here it will take some time depends on the network speed 
and your computer speed the size of the image and other many things let's wait when it will be finished we will see in next video how we can import the OVA or OVF we can see if uh, it's making the image in uh, our required destination it's better you can confirm that it's starting the making image on your required destination what you have given so I will go you I will uh, go to see what I have given the path if it's making the yeah yeah it is there it's making a file on D drive see it's already done I have given the path on this machine and D drive see it's there and it's exporting so just wait till it will complete just see now it's showing the time remaining and uh, it's now 4% completed uh, let's wait and we will be back when it's uh, near to complete we can go and we can continue our uh, routine work please uh, I will bring it back for you when it is going to complete exported almost 31% and uh, time remaining is this one we need to wait more uh, I'll bring you back when uh, it will be 99% completed don't worry we need to be patient it will take more time so we can see in uh, this utility just see we are exporting this machine and uh, you can see here summary it's showing that it's not running not installed VMware tools it will show IP address if we will configure uh, suppose this machine has uh, configured it's showing IP address and VMware tools running I have installed CPU 4 CPU and uh, if you will go to the shutdown machine it will not show if you will uh, update it if you will install it if you will uh, configure it then it will show and uh, you can see the resource allocation performance uh, performance not showing because uh, not available because it's shut down if you will go to suppose uh, the machine which is powered on you can see the performance of CPU data store disk memory network power and uh, virtual disk also system you can also take printout uh, of this chart you can refresh you can save you can uh, pop up chart or export you can uh, see the console Uh, it's a bit busy now this uh, export of this virtual machine has been completed already I will show you the size we can see where it's exported it's uh, completed successfully just uh, go to the disk where it is exported and uh, we can see the size yeah 
it is 52.5 GB. Thank you very much for seeing this. In an other video, I will show you how we can import uh, this on a virtual server. Thank you for watching.